See what happens. Um, I don't know if it's going to work or not, so what are we going to do but have some fun, huh? Here we go. All right, so we are going to start off here in uh, Javier Roland's uh, Boeing 747 with a pretty nice uh, virtual cockpit here. And uh, it looks like I'm leaning between the seat like a little kid trying to see what's going on flying the airplane. And uh, as we come on down the runway, let's see if I can uh, go and give you a look at this big bird. Now you'll have to uh, pardon the projector. The projector here is very, very, very weak and discolored. Everything looks dim and green, which is just horrible. Um, if you come over to the Aerosoft booth, uh, see I can't keep on the runway and talk at the same time, sorry. If you come to the Aerosoft booth, then you will see this thing in the colors and the brightness. That, whoa! Okay, this is really good camera. Okay, so this is fascinating. As you can see, the artificial intelligence is not perfect. The airplanes are taxing around. Each of them is following its own little brain, but one guy has kind of gotten in the way of the other guy, and they're each trying to, to avoid a collision, so they've kind of frozen in a state of panic. But uh, you can see SEA here, and uh, what I can do is uh, let's go to the uh, local map screen. And what we have here is, oh, you can see a little bit of what's going on in the area. We have two airplanes that are flying along, and they're headed out that way. And then if you zoom in, you can see these two guys that have kind of blocked each other up. So I'm going to take him and kind of put him back there, and I'll put him there. And now they're kind of dragged out of the way. Maybe they'll be able to kind of get out of each other's way. You see? You see? I just dragged him. See, he's there, and he's there. And we're going to see what they're going to do now. All right, I will go on ahead and uh, just just do a little uh, power off uh, power off lower approach here, and then we do a, this way. I always fly, by the way. Um, life life is too short for any bank less than seventy degrees, basically. So um, oh, so as I'm flying over here, you can see that these kind of medium rendering options. You can see the uh, the street maps down there, and the street maps are real. Okay, these roads do actually exist in Seattle. And uh, because the rendering options are somewhat low, which we're still working on performance tuning, as you can see, we just haven't plotted uh, little buildings down uh, beside each of the, uh, you know, beside each of the roads. All right, so we'll, just, we'll go take a look at what these airplanes are doing over here. Then we'll go up and do a little bit of flying in the clouds. We'll show you the weather model. And then uh, we'll do some helicopter low level over the roads and highways so we can see all the cars and roads <coughs> and stuff like that in the Seattle area. Um, so another interesting thing is uh, the weather is required to never change instantly. The weather has to have real 3D physical locations. So as you as you fly into uh, new regions, you actually enter areas of cloud and precipitation, and uh, at no point should the weather change instantly. So since I dragged somebody out of the way, he's obviously managing to follow agency instructions and move on along in his way. And then it looks like he's getting ready to think about taxiing on out. Meanwhile, the trucks are making their way down the road, and these other airplanes are talking to an air traffic controller. Um, and in the final release, you will hear the transmissions that the other planes are making. So you will hear this guy get his clearance to taxi down to the runway, and this guy get his clearance to cross, and they will take off, fly to another airport, come back to an airport near you, and land. And so you will hear the entire gate-to-gate -gate operations on the radio on the right frequency while you watch them fly around. And if you have a computer with enough cores, it won't even hurt the frame rate because each airplane is running on its own core. And you start to get a sense here with those airplanes rolling around on the airport, more airplanes flying overhead, and the cars driving around, uh, even on this rather mediocre kind of average machine uh, with only one or two CPUs, um, it's still able to run at a decent enough performance. All right, why don't we go ahead and take a look at the clouds here. Um, let's go ahead and go for full power here. And uh, we're going to head on up and see what we see in the clouds. So the clouds are all required to be truly three-dimensional. You will never see any cloud that's painted on the background that you can never approach. Every, everything in X-Plane that you see is a physical model of something that really exists. Remember, the whole rule is no faking it, no drawing roofs on the ground, no drawing sky on the, uh, the back of the sky dome. Everything has to be a real three-dimensional entity. Um, so, uh, let's see, hopefully we'll eventually come out of the, the tops here. And since everything has to be a real three-dimensional entity, um, everything you see will be real in that uh, if you see a building, you can come down and hover in front of it in a helicopter. If you see a cloud and you fly into it, as I did, this is going to be the result. And any cloud that you see, you can eventually fly to. All right, let's, uh, I don't want to bore you to death by flying IFR all day. But let's, let's just 
just wait a moment or two to see if we come out the top. Oh, and while we, I'll tell you what, while, while we kind of work our way up um, through the clouds, let's, uh, I'll take you on a quick little tour of the airplane. So we'll go to um, view, uh, 3D cockpit, mouse look, so we can kind of move around. And uh, all right, hopefully the airplane will be stable enough to take on a quick little quick little tour through first class. So the airplane may spin out of control and crash during the demo, hopefully not. But, uh, and then you can, sorry, demo effect, there's a limit to how good I am with the mouse, sorry. Okay. There we go. Then you can, there we go. And then, uh, Let's see, it looks like the bathroom's open. Hang on. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Sorry. Sorry, you weren't supposed to get out. And uh, so anyway, so this is the geometry here. Oh, it looks like we broke out of the clouds sometime uh, when we were playing around in the bathroom. And uh, and as you can see, the clouds are really a three-dimensional uh, entity. Um, all right, enough playing around down in here.